Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this video is for all Apple TV 2 owners. I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your Apple TV 2 on iOS 4.4.4. Now yes, this is an untethered jailbreak, and for this we're going to be using Season Pass. It's both for Mac and Windows. Now many of you guys may be wondering, why even jailbreak the Apple TV 2? And that's a good question. Uh, I personally don't use it much, so I don't know many plugins, but there are actually quite a few programs that you can run on your Apple TV 2. For example, X Xbox Media Center and that's actually a very popular one. I will actually make a few videos in the future showing you guys some of the things you can do with your Apple TV and there is actually a new program in development that will allow you to run iPhone apps on your Apple TV 2 in full HD on your HD TV and that's actually pretty cool and of course I will keep you updated on that. If you guys want to read some more information about what you can do on the Apple TV 2, check out the description down below. There will be a link to my site there, and you can read all about it there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. And I just want to say this jailbreak is very easy. There's no reason not to do it. It does take a while to download the IPSW firmware file in Season Pass, but overall the jailbreak is very simple. Now if you guys haven't updated your Apple TV yet to 4.4.4, go ahead and do that. And you can check what firmware it is by going into Settings, General about and there is your firmware and my serial number which I don't know if you should see or not but okay and if it's 4.4.4 we can go ahead and go to our computer so unplug your Apple TV from your TV if it is connected and let's go to my computer so here I am and you guys will need to download one thing and that's season pass you can find the link down below in the description so definitely get that and once it's on your desktop go ahead and run it yes and now we're going to drag this over here and just click create IPSW. Make sure you're connected to the internet because it will download the IPSW firmware from the servers. Go ahead and click on that and it'll take a little bit depending on your internet speed. And once it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, so once Season Pass finishes downloading your firmware, it'll ask you to put your Apple TV into DFU mode. And to do that, make sure everything is unplugged and go ahead and connect it to your computer using a micro USB cable. This is not a mini and obviously a mini won't fit, but let's go ahead and connect that and to put it into DFU mode we're gonna hold the menu and play pause buttons on the Apple TV remote for seven seconds okay so let's go ahead and do that so one two three four five six seven and let go and in just a second you'll get a little pop-up asking you if you want to restore automatically and we're gonna go ahead and click yes now not everyone will get this pop-up but we're going to click yes and it's going to go ahead and open up iTunes and restore your Apple TV automatically. You don't have to select anything and give it about five to 10 minutes. It'll restore and I'll be right back. Now, while this is restoring, I just want to mention some of you guys might get errors restoring in iTunes and down below in the description, there'll be an error fix. So definitely check that out if you're getting any kind of errors while trying to restore. So once your Apple TV is finished restoring, go ahead and connect it to a display and go through the setup real quick. After that, I'll be right back. And once your Apple Apple TV is set up, you will notice a little red symbol right there. It stands for FireCore, and it basically means your Apple TV was jailbroken using Season Pass. Now, no, you will not have Cydia on any of your menus. This is a different type of jailbreak. You actually have to know how to use it. And for those of you that don't know, I will be uploading some videos soon on how to install some new things, so stay tuned for that. And you guys are basically now jailbroken untethered on your Apple TV firmware 4.4.4. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Definitely don't forget to rate this video. It does help a lot. Also, please subscribe for more great videos and leave a comment or question down below. I will try to get to you guys. So, okay, enjoy your jailbreak. Peace.